Our national anthem concludes. We're back at the Kane Center for this presentation of high school basketball on the Antler Sports Network, presented by Matt Oswald of Scouting Report. Scouting Report, the official recruiting platform of the Antler Sports Network. This go around, it's time for the boys. Starting lineups for the Winona Wildcats goes as follows. Number three, Bryson Caldwell. Number five, Bryson Ross. Number two, Jesse Jones. Number 23, Nate Hampton. And finally, number 24, rounding up the starting five is Stephen Young. Winona in their visiting all golden uniforms. Black trim on the uniforms and shorts. Black numerals, black lettering with the black Jordan logo across the chest. Now we await the starting lineup for the home team, the Athens Christian Repertory Academy Storm, led by head coach in his first year, Marcelo Brown. Starters, Mood number 10, Mitchell Horth. Number 21, Charlie Gayton. Number one, Micah Don Morrow. Number 15, Landry Gammon. Still homecoming now. We'll be looking forward to heading back down to the floor as Athens Christian Preparatory Academy celebrates homecoming week on campus and on the basketball court for tonight's contest. Jared Jones here in the Kelly Tattoo Broadcast booth for tonight's action. Be sure to tune in tomorrow night as the Texas College Steers have a doubleheader of their home and their own homecoming festivities. As they start on the gridiron in the afternoon for our afternoon college football game, the final football game of the Antler Sports Network broadcast season as they host the visiting Wildcats of Louisiana Christian. Following that, a couple minutes after, we'll head to the Gus Taylor Memorial Gymnasium as the Steers host Holy Patriot University. Holy Patriot and their head coach, a former Texas College Steer, so should be a big game for all involved as they also commemorate the two national championship winning teams from the 1900s. That will be two big-time games there. Be sure to go online to antlersn.com forward slash schedule to find when we'll be broadcasting a game near you. If you'd like to advertise on the Antler Sports Network and be like one of our amazing sponsors, go online to antlersn.com forward slash advertise to get your business or service showcased to our fantastic Antler SN audiences. Be sure to follow us on social media on Instagram at Antler Sports Net, at Twitter at Antler underscore SN. Go to YouTube.com forward slash at Antler underscore SN and go to YouTube at Facebook.com slash Antler Sports Network. Be sure to follow all of our social media accounts to find all the latest happenings on the Antler Sports Network. Jumping up for both teams for Monona, number 24, Stephen Young, number one. Like it on Morrow. ACPA in white uniforms, white pants. Red numerals and lettering for the Athens Christian Preparatory Academy Storm. White, excuse me, red piping on the uniforms and shorts. Official lets the whistle fly, pointing in respect to directions, and here we go. Tip-off opened up, winning the tip is the Winona Wildcats. Good thing starting is Ross, swings it back over to Jesse Jones. Jesse Jones at the top of the key, gets it over to Ross. Ross back over to the far side wing now, with 7.50 left to go now. Driving right is Stephen Young. Young brings it back out, finds an open Ross. Ross kick pass to a wide open Caldwell. Caldwell drives, ball gets tipped out of bounds by Gammon, but possession will stay with Winona as Gammon doing a great job of getting them passing lanes. Just couldn't get there quick enough to make a steal. Gets a deflection over and he'll set up for that. Here's Bryson Ross now. 7.35 left to go. Ross gets it out to Stephen Young. Young clapping is for the basketball is Hampton. Hampton gets it up over to Jones. Jones head face gets the ball tipped away. 13, 17 foot jumper, check that. Rebound corralled by the one on the Wildcats. Can't get the second shot to fall. Third offensive rebound of the road, but it's taken back away by Korth. No, stolen back by the one on the Wildcats. Long two, gets it to go. That two point field goal opening up scoring is Nate Hampton. Winona getting in their full court press. Ball is tipped out of bounds by the Wildcats and the Storm will take possession back. Here's Gaten, skips it over to Morrow. Morrow with it now with 7.04 and counting left. Morrow defended by Hampton. 
Swings it over to Cannon. Side step. Three. Got it. Cannon opening up, scoring for the Storm early. This is going to be a barn burner. So far, so good for both of these teams. Shot up and by Stephen Young. Gets sent away. Gets sent out of bounds with 6.44 left to go in the first quarter. Turnover by Winona. Gets taken right back. Goes up for an easy layup, and it's in for Bryson Ross as he's out on the blocks fast. Ritz first points of the ballgame. 6.35 left to go, and it's 4-3. Went on to apply the pressure as they always do. Caldwell on the defense. I'm on the far side now. Driving. Gets switched away by Caldwell. Takes a couple of steps. Ball falls almost out of bounds. Gannon with the save. It's corralled by the Wildcats. And here comes Stephen Young. Gets it up on the break to Ross. Ross 2 on 1. Euro steps. Charge taken. No whistle called. Rebound by after the script preparatory academy. Stolen back by Ross yet again. Back under the basket is Gannon. Gannon had a wide up a man down floor, but doesn't make the throw. That's Corinth, who was wide open on the far side of the court. Wide open three, take it, got it. Back to back three point bombs. And Winona comes back with an easy bucket of their own. Stephen Young with the breakaway lip, and we're back knotted up at six. 540 left to go. Gammon drives, he's got to head to the line for the first chip to the charity strike for both of these teams. That foul is going to be against number five, Bryson Ross. First personal foul, first team foul. We're still not enough at six here. Both of these teams getting out and running early. With 5.46 left to go in the first. Gammon taking his first shots at the line. First shot rattles in and out, no good. Checking in for the first time will be, Jen, will be Benjamin Sowers as Morrow will take his first break of the ball game. Gammon can't get the second shot to fall either. Can't get the shooter's roll. Rebound corralled by Jones as Jones skips it back out to Hampton. Hampton leads pass to Caldwell. Caldwell, laser pass over to Young. Too much mustard, but it's last tip by ACPA. Possession Winona. Five thirty-seven left to go now. Jones will inbound under his own basket. Wide open three for Hampton. Rattles at home. The three-point barrage continuing from our previous contest. Last tipped by Winona's Nate Hampton. He's playing his case who was official. Official doesn't change his call, however, as Corth will inbound him after the deflection. Here's Gammon. 520 left now. Gammon sidesteps. Fires for three. Not the air as he falls. Rebound by Jones. Jones gets it out to Hampton. Hampton goes up for a tough shot, and he nails it for two. We get ready to hit the five-minute mark. Both of these teams already on the box fast. Here's Gammon trying to break this one on a press. He's got a man trailing. Gets it out to Corinth. Corinth goes through. Can't get it to go. Great contest by Jones, and he comes down with the glass. Comes down from the glass with 4.50 and counting in the first. Jones gets it out to Ross. Ross wins it back over to Hampton. Hampton to Caldwell. Caldwell head fakes back to Hampton. Hampton drives. Inbounds past the short corner to Young. Young skip pass to Jones. Corner long two. Back iron, no good. Corralled by Jones yet again. It's going to be tipped out by Ross. Ross comes down with it. And the Wildcats will will get yet another offensive possession here. It's with the four and a half minute mark. Substitution pending for the Wildcats. It's on the way by Gammon. Gammon, 425 and counting now. Going to slow things down a bit. Heck of a pass out to Gaten. Gaten tips it back out. Recovered by the Storm. Here's Gin. Gammon drives, goes up. Can't get the finger roll finish to go. 410 and counting. And here come the Wildcats. Stephen Young with it. Young almost traveled with it, knew he messed up as soon as he tried to pick the basketball back up. It'll be a turnover and checking in for the first time. We number 13, Josh Rice, and number four, Detavian Williams, getting their first action of the ball game. 4.07 left to go. 11 6 year score, ACPA down at home, looking to try to get a win on their home floor to cap off homecoming week. Four minute mark now surpassed. Game across to the timeline, gets it in to Corinth. Corinth gets it tipped away by Rice, and Rice is on the break. It's two on one. Gammon goes up for the block, and it's last touch off to the back of Gammon. And it goes out of bounds. Gammon tried to come down with the swat there. Rice looked like he wanted a foul. The Wildcats will take over another own basket. 
Here's Ross. Ross takes the three off the backboard. No good. Rebound brought down by Hampton. Hampton takes the long two in the face of Gammon, and he's got it. We're only getting shots to fall early on here. Both teams shooting at a pretty efficient rate with 333 and counting left to go. Here's Gammon. Gammon. Very dangerous pass intended for Corinth. It's tipped out of bounds by Ross, by the tandem of Ross and Jones there specifically with 328 left to go and counting. 325 now. Ball rolls out of bounds. Possession will go to ACPA. 314 left to go. Scoreboard showing 14 to 6. Here's Ross. Cross at the timeline. Waiting for the double screen. Instead gets the screen from Jones. Jones cuts. No dice. Skip pass over to Hampton. Hampton has Williams in the corner. Williams drives. 13-foot floater, can't get it, rebounded by Rice. Rice turns the corner, drives, takes the pull-up jumper from the short corner, can't get it to go. The Wildcats come down with another offensive board, but this time the store in the court will come down with it. Here comes Gammon. It's a three-on-two break if he hurries. It's a two-on-two break now. Skips through, takes his time, pivots back out, pass was intended for Corinth yet again, just too much on it. Out of bounds, no, the one on the Wildcats save it. Layup is up and good, gets the shooters rolling. Bryson Ross gets had another layup, and a timeout taken by ACPA. We'll take it with him. Got to recover quickly here. Down 10, 2.43 left to go. Back on this, back after this break on the ASN. Final horn sounds. Coach Brown for the storm taking a 30-second timeout. The Wildcats going on a quick 8-0 run here with 2.43 left to go. This presentation of Texas high school basketball brought to you by Scouting Report, the official recruiting platform, network affiliate of the Antler Sports Network. Horn sounds. Both teams leave their respective huddles. We're live at the Kane Center in Athens, Texas. We'll be here next week. For November 17th through the 19th for the 4th Annual Lady Storm Tip-Off Classic presented by the Antler Sports Network. Two games a day. We'll try to get that schedule up for you on our website as soon as we can. Go to antlersn.com forward slash schedule. 2.36 and counting now. Morrow checking back into the ball game for the Storm. Morrow drives. Takes a tough shot. He's going to draw a foul there. It was a tough foul there. For Winoni, you never want to foul a jump shooter as Nate Hampton. His first personal foul. Second team foul. 16 and 6, 2, 7, 2 27 left to go. Hang the line for his first trip to the charity stripe. Will be Morrow. Morrow's first shot. Can't get it to go off the back iron and no good. Murrow, second shot, no good. He'll go empty from the line this trip. Rice with the rebound, gets it out to Williams. Williams drives through two defenders, and he catches that out of bounds, and ACPA will take possession with 2.20 left to go. Murrow gives it right back up to Gammon now. Gammon, 2.15 and counting. Gammon, bounce pass over to Gayton. Gayton drives, Rice on him. Rice, fantastic defense to make sure not to touch the basketball. Turnover ACPA, possession Winona with 2.06 left to go. Caldwell the inbound, gets up to wide up and Rice. Rice takes the layup and he's got it. 12 point game now as we hit the two minute mark. The Storm seeming to fall flat now on offense after coming out of the box fast with a quick 6 nothing run to start the ball game. Gammon drives, goes up, up and under, can't get it to go. And he'll head back to the line for two for the Storm's third trip to the line. That's the third team foul. Officials convening at around the final hash to see who that foul was on. 
That foul is going to be on number 13, Josh Rice. His first personal foul, 14 foul, as Gammon will head back to the line. Check that team, 13 foul with a minute 54 left to go. Gammon's first shot, no good. He's currently 0 for 3 from the charity strike. A couple adjustments made under the basket for the Wildcat defense as they anticipate the rebound. Again, a second shot rattles in. That's a storm. Get back on the board after a small offensive dry spell. Rice has a lot up in Williams. Williams, Rice is up. Got the layup to go. The Wildcats have made a killing so far in getting buckets in a hurry, especially with the scrambling defense picking up, picking up Morrow. Oh, immediately at half court is Nate Hampton now. Morrow swings it over to Gaten. Gaten looking, looking for Gannon. Gaten drives to his right, goes through, makes two defenders fall. Coming up from the glass, kiss in the bucket is in. Rice just a bit over his head, and ACPA will have a chance to extend, expand this run. It's 20-9. to nine. They're not too far out of it yet. A minute 21 left to go. Here's Morrow now. Morrow drives right. Takes a screen, gets it up to Gaten. Gammon for three, just short, can't get it to fall. Rice with another rebound. Lead pass up to Williams. Williams drives through contact, and he's going to head it back to the line. It's going to be yet another quick foul on ACPA. First personal foul. First team foul for ACPA. Minute four left to go. Williams knocks down his first shot from the free throw line. He's a quick one for one. As Jesse Jones will sub back in for the Wildcats. Taking a seat will be Nate Hampton. Of Marcelo Brown in his first season at the helm of the Storm Boys High School basketball team. Tough rebound and brought down by Gammon. Possession arrow going towards the ACPA Storm, and they will take possession with a minute two left to go. They're down 21-9, however. Here's Gammon. Gammon this time defended by Ross. Gammon drives left, picks up his dribble, skies through the lane, off the glass, and good. Ten-point game now with 47 seconds left to go. Here's Rice, stolen away by Morrow with 42 seconds left. They might try to go two for one here. They can get a quick stop. Morrow drives, skips through Rice, trying to take a charge. Head fake by Gaten, and it's a blocking foul called on Rice. Second foul on Rice, 14 foul already with 35 seconds left to go. Here's Court on the inbound. Wide open, three, no good over the side of the backboard and out of bounds. 31 seconds left to go. Ten-point ball game here. Jones immediately trapped off the inbound. Gets a fantastic stream from Caldwell. Jones dropping to his left. Has Williams. Fantastic pass and even better finish. It's fan the lead now. It's 23 to 11. 20 seconds and counting left to go. Here's Morrow. Ten seconds now. We're well, going to save it for the final shot. Deep three. Five seconds left, rebounded by Williams, and the Wildcats have a chance with it now. One second, no shot in time, shot's not going to count, and that'll conclude our first quarter of play. Wildcats getting out to an early lead, the Storm continuing to battle, however, 23-11. Back after this break, you're watching Texas High School Basketball and the Sports Network, presented by Scouting Report. Hello, my name is Tarnisha. My name's Anthony. And we own Drip Like Jesus. Drip stands for devote, reach, influence people, just like Jesus did. Each one of our apparel has a scripture on the back that goes with the design. It's our cool way of spreading the gospel and looking fly. We are located in Stonebriar Mall in Frisco and also online at www.driplikejesus.com. So feel free to go online and shop or come check us out in Frisco. And thank you for helping us spread the gospel.
Second quarter of play now. Both teams leading their respective huddles. Winona coming out with an early lead in the Kane Center in Athens, Texas. Official new home of Storm Athletics. 23-11. Your score fresh eight on the clock. Jones will inbound anticipating the ball will be Bryson Ross as he crosses the timeline and we're set to go for second quarter basketball on the Antler Sports Network. Here's Jones now. Jones, get pass out to Rice. Rice, head fakes, drives over Gammon, can't get it. Trying to crowd it is Jordan Pullum as he gets his first action of the game, and here comes Gammon. Gammon on the break, doesn't have numbers, slows things back down, tries to go to his right, sidesteps, and the ball is tipped away. Fantastic anticipation from Ross to block the three-point attempt there from Gammon. 7.30 left now. Try to get it into Rice. Rice gets it, goes up for the finish, can't get it to fall. Coming back up with it is Pullum. Pullum can't get it either. Storm trying to get the offensive possession, and Murrow tips it out. It's wide open three for Ross, top of the key. Can't get it off the window. Rice comes down with it. That's their third offensive rebound. Can't cash in on that one either. Offensive rebound number five. Here comes Ross. Ross slowing things back down. Five offensive rebounds in a span of about 15 seconds for the Winona Wildcats. Here's Ross with Morrow on him. Seven minutes now. Gets Rice. Wide open corner three. Got it. As Winona finally is able to cash in all those offensive rebounds for some points as Ross tips the pass there and a turnover by Morrow. Skips through, scoop shot, can't get it to fall as he comes out of the floor. Timeout called. Gets it just in time as Winona takes the timeout. We'll take it with him. Back in. We're going to call this a 30 second or a one minute timeout. Let's come back in 30 seconds. You're watching Texas High School Basketball on the ASN. Hello, my name is Tarnisha. Did you know you had a Texas State bucket list must-see right in the heart of East Texas? It's Circle M Crawfish in Big Sandy, Texas. Circle M is more than just crawfish. It's home to the best deep-fried catfish in town. There's something for everybody to enjoy, including chicken fried steak, burgers, and ready-for-game day wings. Circle M has everything you need to have a good time with the whole family, with a gated playground to keep kiddos entertained. Circle M Crawfish on State Highway 155 in Big Sandy, Texas, home of Circle M Rivalry Week. That timeout brought to you by Circle M Crawfish and Big Sandy. Circle M Crawfish, official restaurant on the Antler Sports Network. If you'd like to advertise on Antler Sports Network broadcast for the foreseeable future as we get ready to get into full gear of our 2022-2023 high school basketball season, go to antlersn.com forward slash advertise. Fill out the form on that page to get started today. Inbounds pass into Hampton. Gets back up to a wide open. Pull him, his short corner jumper. No good. Tough rebound for Jones. Jones goes back up through contact. Can't get it. Gets the rebound yet again. That's rebound number two. Can they come up with number three? No, they won't. No, yes, they will. It's tipped away by Rice. Taking the fall away jumper is Hampton. He can't get it. And Gammon finally controls possession for ACPA. One way they need to get in this ball game, even though they're down 26 to 11, as Gammon drives, can't get the foul call. It's corralled in by Ross. They've got to control the offensive glass. Wide open layup. It's knocked in by Nate Hampton. Stolen away by Jones. It slipped away, brought back in by Ross. Was. We hit the six-minute mark. Jones, head fake on the three. He drives, goes up, gets the layup to go. Crossing the six-minute mark. Now here comes Gammon. Gammon goes through. Rice tries to set the charge. No dice. And a beautiful Euro set finish in for two. 13-30 now. 5.45 left to go. Rice getting a Euro step of his own. He can't get the same result as Marl comes out with a tough rebound. Merle swings it back out to Corth. Merle trying to come down with it, falls on the floor. ACPA falls on it. Timeout called by ACPA, and we'll take it with them back after this break. 30 to 13 on the end of Sports Network. To make winning decisions, you need a championship team in your corner. Monument Realty, led by Anthony Hyder, is that championship team. With countless houses sold in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, you're sure to score the right abode for you and your family. If finding the perfect home is in your future's game plan, then Monument Realty and Anthony Hyder are your perfect play call to get the job done. Monument Realty in Frisco, Texas, the official realtor company of the Dallas Cowboys, the Texas Rangers, and the Antler Sports Network. A timeout presented by Monument Realty. Monument Realty, the official realtor company of the Dallas Cowboys, the Texas Rangers, and the Antler Sports Network. Five and a half minutes left to go. It's 30 to 13. Your score now after Coach Brown calls the timeout to save Morrow after the last jump ball. We saw pretty much a jump ball festival in our previous contest as the Lady Storm fell to the Travelers of All Saints Episcopal from Tyler, Texas. If you'd like to go back and watch that game, that broadcast is available on all Antler Sports Network platforms. 
Go to antlersn.com, go to the top right corner of your screen, click the Watch Live tab to be directed to the latest broadcast of the Antler Sports Network, 531 now. Here to inbound is Korth. He gets it into Morrow. Morrow, defended by Caldwell. Gets the Korth screen. Gets it back out to Korth at the top of the key now. Defended by Rice. Gets it over to Gammon. Gammon head fakes right, switches back to his left, back to his right now. Drives, goes up and under, he's got it. Silky smooth, finish. It's a 15-point game now. That lead chopped down now to half. 5.07 left. Gammon couldn't come down with the steal. Great anticipation by him, though. Here's Rice. Rice gets the layup for two, pretty much almost untouched once he got to the third level as we cross the five-minute mark. He crosses the out-of-bounds line. Bang, bang, play official calls it. Baseline violation called against ACPA. The Wildcats will take back over under their own basket with 4.54 left to go in the second. Gets it into a cutting Pullum, and Pullum gets the easy bucket to go for two. And here comes Gammon now. Gammon met by Ross almost immediately. Ross head fakes and drives. It's foul most likely going to be on the floor. Gammon did go up for a shot. No, they're going to call a shooting foul as Gammon will go to the line yet again to shoot two. Pending substitution here for ACPA. Benjamin Sauber's looking to check back into the ball game. 14th foul here for Winona as Gammon heads back to the charity stripe. This will be his third trip. 34-15 for score. ACPA had to cut down to half. A quick layups by Rice and Pullum respectively. Increase that lead as Gammon knocks down his first free throw and Stowers. Well, Sowers, excuse me, checks back into the ball game. Taking a seat will be Milo Branton. Gammon checking shot. Gets the shooter's roll and rattles in. It's 17-34 now. Sipped away by Gammon. Rice comes down with a rebound. It gets tipped away. Pull him with it. Pull him head fakes. Gets it out to Rice. Rice with an easy layup on the left side of the bucket. And he gets it to go for two. 36-17 now, 4.18 left to go. Here comes Gammon yet again for the storm. Gammon drives left, spins, goes up, spats, shot sent away by Rice. And Winona is going to pull away for the easy layup. No, he smokes it, runs into the, into the scaffolding of the basket there. As Moro sours and Rice in a 2v1 match there. Corrales the jump ball. Possession will go to Winona. It marks a possession error and a substitution pending for Winona. Call him on the cut. He's going to get called for a travel. Took one too many steps there. Something into the ball game for Winona. Barring the official's signal will be a Tavian Williams. Taking a seat will be Bryson Ross. Ross had a heck of a game so far. Also forgot to mention our previous game, our Thompson Tire and Services player of the game will go to All St. Guard number 10. Lily Olsen had a fantastic night. With four big time threes from beyond the arc, two in both halves, respectively. As All Saints took down eight, the ACPA Lady Storm in their homecoming contest that occurred prior to this one. Lead pass up to Hampton. Hampton gets the ball tipped away, and possession will stay with Winona. Caldwell inbounds to Rice. Rice goes up, and he's got it for two. He's been a heck of a spark off the bench for the Wildcats. Here's Gammon, defended by Hampton. He stutter steps, tries to get it into Benjamin Sowers. Sowers can't get a hand on it. With 324 and counting left to go, travel call from the backside official, and ACPA will take possession after the turnover. Checking back into the ball game will be with number 21, Charlie Gayton. Three twenty-four left to go. Thirty-eight to seventeen. The score here. Here comes Morrow. Gets it into Gaten. Gaten head fakes, drives, gets the ball tipped away, and it's stolen away by Winona. Here comes Williams on the two-on-two -two break. Goes up. Heck of a fall there. That could have been bad. Luckily, he seems to be okay. Gets a fantastic pass from the short corner. No good. Caldwell with a rebound. He gets stripped away by Gammon. Gammon comes away. The Caldwell gets it right back, but it falls out of bounds. 
no repossession. ACPA substitution made once again. Stephen Young checking back in as Ross will take a break as that kid's had a heck of a day. Early contender for the Thompson Tire and Services player of the game. Morrow, wide open pass. Easy layup attempt up for Corf. He can't get it to go. And it's brought down by the Wildcats after the missed field goal. It's 2.45 and counting now. Shot from Hampton, no good. Drew by about the storm. They're on the break now. Coming away with a steal is Caldwell and going to get tacked with a blocking foul will be number 13, Benjamin Sowers. Two thirty-five and counting after the Sowers blocking foul. 38-17, still the score now. 13-foot jumper, can't get it to fall is Pullum, but the putback will go down for Nate Hampton. It's 40 to 17 now. Wildcats starting to pull away in this one. 220 left to go. Here's Gammon. Gammon on the drive. Gammon skips through, takes the contact, and he's got the bucket for two. Shrugging off the defense after that last bucket. Lead pass. Murrow, great defense. Stephen Young can't get it to fall. And here comes the storm. Up to Gammon. Gammon. Head fakes. Turns. Fades. Got it. And they've cut the lead back down to under half. And a turnover forced by Gaten. As Young took too many steps trying to pivot out of the defensive pressure. And ACPA will take back over under their own basket. And to inbound is Corinth. Quick substitution made now. Subbing in for Stephen Young will be Ross for the Wildcats. Check that Caldwell will be taking the seat for the Wildcats. Into Gammon. Gammon, tough shot, can't get it to fall. Rebound, a tough rebound by Ross. And Morrow's going to get called for a blocking foul. A little bit too much traffic there on the far side of the floor. Morrow's first foul, third team foul. As you can hear from the P.I. announce here at the Kane Center in Athens, Texas. 150 and counting left to go. Here's Hampton. Hampton. Finds a man in the corner, can't get it to go is Williams. And it's brought down by the Storm. Gammon gets his pass tipped away. He comes back with it, however. Ross comes back to try to tip it. Bang, bang play there. These kids are getting physical already with a minute 38 left to go. ACPA will take possession. Check that. That'll be a foul called a blocking foul on Ross. His second foul. Inbound, corralled by Korf. Korf sidesteps. Long two. Just over the basket. A minute and a half now. Gammon tries to get the stop there. And a carrying foul. Great job by Gammon in the same position. And not draw a blocking foul. The Tavian Williams is on that last turnover. As we are right at a minute and a half left to go in this first half of play. Here's Corinth. Corinth. Sky is through the lane. Can't get to left to fall. Rebound by Jones. It's tipped off and corralled by Hampton, and he gets it back out to Ross with a minute 20 left to go in counting. Ross defended by Morrow. He drives to his left. Pass Pullum. Pullum, great head fake, and it's sent away by Gammon, but a foul is going to be called that most likely might be a backside foul called on Morrow, and that's exactly who it's going to be called on. Gammon had the block, but Morrow came through from the far side. I want to say that was on the right side, and fouled Pullum as he went through. 14 foul after the Gammon shooting foul. With a minute 12 left to go. First shot by Pullum, no good. Pullum, second, second shot. Off the backyard, no good. Rebounded by Jones. Jones. Gets the puck out to pull him. He'll try to get those two points back. He can't get it to go. Jones trying to come down with another offensive rebound. He can't get it. Morrow comes down with it. And Corth gets it back out to the far side, and they swing it back to Murray. 58 seconds of county left to go in the, in the second quarter. Murray directing traffic. Inbounds. A quick shot in for Sowers. Can't get it to fall. Sowers gets his own steal back, however, trying to get it back. Gets it back out to the top of the key to Gammon. Gammon gets the ball tip, and it's holding by the Wildcats. Going out of bounds. Hampton couldn't get control of it with 41 seconds left. Went out of 40 ACPA 21. Can't you do it bow. Risky pass up to Gammon. Gammon comes down with it over 40 seconds left. They've got numbers. Gammon drives, goes up. And he's going to draw the foul. Far side official call jump ball. The officials agree. And 
Storm basketball after the possession arrow will give them the basketball back. 35 seconds left. Official speaking with the coach of the Wildcats. Let's go over that last call. Well, Gammon and Ross collided trying to, as, as Ross tried to intercept the pass and Gammon came down with it. Here to inbound is Corinth. They get it into Gaten. Gaten power dribbles, goes up and under. He can't get it to go. Tough shot there. Rebound brought down by Corinth. Here's Morrow. Morrow jazz. Sends it back over to Corinth again. It's going to be a loose ball foul called against Winona. And ACP able to take possession back under the basket. The last loose ball foul will be the 17th foul. We'll put ACPA on the line. The officials seem to be deciding on who's going to head in the line. And heading to the line will be number 10, Mitchell Corinth. His first trip to the free throw line. Storm's fourth trip as a team. 30 seconds left to go in this first half of play. Front half of the one and one, no good. Won't get an opportunity to get a second shot as the rebound's brought down by Jones. Jones gonna take it himself. Driving right. High lob pass intended for Williams, and he can't come down with it just over his head. That'll be out of bounds. Possession goes to ACPA with 24 seconds left to go. 40 to 21 the score now. Gammon looking for Murray. Great bounce pass to get out of the trap now. 20 seconds left. Jones, the only man to beat. Murray tries to get a sky pass up to Gaten, but it's stolen away by Ross. Ross loses a shoe. As he slides around the floor and are trying to call a timeout as Winona, and they do get the timeout. And as shoes get put back on, we'll have a word from our sponsors. 40 to 21. Back after this on the ASN. Hello, my name is Tarnisha. And my name's Anthony. And we own Drip Like Jesus. Drip stands for devote, reach, influence people, just like Jesus did. Each one of our apparel has a scripture on the back that goes with the design. It's our cool way of spreading the gospel and looking fly. We are located in Stonebriar Mall in Frisco and also online at www.driplikejesus.com. So feel free to go online and shop or come check us out in Frisco. And thank you for helping us spread the gospel. Back after the Wildcat timeout. Shoes seem to be back on inside and back ready to go. Ten seconds now. Here's Ross. Comes over to Hampton. Hampton to the corner to Rice. Rice back to Hampton. Thirty seconds left. Wing three for Williams. Can't get it to go. And that'll end the first half of play. ACPA trying to claw back into this one. 40 to 21, your score. When we come back, it's homecoming festivity time for ACPA yet again. You're watching Texas High School Basketball on the Atlas Sports Network. To make winning decisions, you need a championship team in your corner. Monument Realty, led by Anthony Hyder, is that championship team. With countless houses sold in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, you're sure to score the right abode for you and your family. If finding the perfect home is in your future's game plan, then Monument Realty and Anthony Hyder are your perfect play call to get the job done. Monument Realty in Frisco, Texas, the official realtor company of the Dallas Cowboys, the Texas Rangers, and the Antler Sports Network.
My name is Tarnisha. My name's Anthony. And we own Drip Like Jesus. Drip stands for devote, reach, influence people, just like Jesus did. Each one of our apparel has a scripture on the back that goes with the design. It's our cool way of spreading the gospel and looking fly. We are located in Stonebriar Mall in Frisco and also online at www.driplikejesus.com. So feel free to go online and shop or come check us out in Frisco. And thank you for helping us spread the gospel. Did you know you had a Texas State bucket list must-see right in the heart of East Texas? It's Circle M Crawfish in Big Sandy, Texas. Circle M is more than just crawfish. It's home to the best deep-fried catfish. The homecoming court for Athens Christian Preparatory Academy is visibly on your screen below. Let's go down to the floor. The initiation of our homecoming kings and queens. Yeah. 
next is Miss Ellie Sowers. We're back with the second half after this timeout. you love your car your home and your financial future 
East Texas Benefits will work just as hard to ensure your protection during these trying times. Our experts are trained to find the best policies tailored to any budget, but at the best insurance agency in Tyler by the people who make us who we are. Book a free consultation today at EastTexasBenefits.com. East Texas Benefits, local knowledge you can trust. A Better Business Bureau A-plus accredited business. Need to add some zip to your morning? Need something to get you through a busy work day? Or maybe something refreshing on a hot afternoon? Mudslingers of Tyler can get you a handcrafted drink for any occasion. Mudslinger serves fresh coffee and espresso roasted right here in East Texas by the Collie Dog Coffee Company. They have over 40 flavors you can mix into a custom coffee, soda, refresher, smoothie, or energy drink. They even offer tasty snacks if you need a quick bite. Ditch the big chain overpriced drinks for something locally owned and delicious. Find them on the loop and Old True Poway at By Green Acres Bowl. Follow them on social media for deals and updates. Mudslingers of Tyler, local coffee, local connections. A car is one of the most important purchases you'll ever make. It's how you drive to work, how you take the kids to school, and how you get to some of life's biggest moments. Why not treat your car as such? Visit Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler on 321 South Bonner Avenue. Joe Thompson and his team of professionals bring decades of another hood experience to ensure that your car runs at its best. Any make, any model, Thompson Tire and Services is the only place to get the best service for your car in the entire East Texas area. Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler, proud sponsor of the Antler Sports Network. To make winning decisions, you need a championship team in your corner. Monument Realty, led by Anthony Heider, is that championship team. With countless houses sold in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, you're sure to score the right abode for you and your family. If finding the perfect home is in your future's game plan, then Monument Realty and Anthony Heider are your perfect play call to get the job done. Monument Realty in Frisco, Texas, the official realtor company of the Dallas Cowboys, the Texas Rangers, and the Antler Sports Network. Did you know you had a Texas State bucket list must-see right in the heart of East Texas? It's Circle M Crawfish in Big Sandy, Texas. Circle M is more than just crawfish. It's home to the best deep-fried catfish in town. There's something for everybody to enjoy, including chicken fried steak, burgers, and ready-for-game day wings. Circle M has everything you need to have a good time with the whole family, with a gated playground to keep kiddos entertained. Circle M Crawfish on State Highway 155 in Big Sandy, Texas, home of Circle M Rivalry Week. Hello, my name is Tarnisha. And my name's Anthony. And we own Drip Like Jesus. Drip stands for devote, reach, influence people, just like Jesus did. Each one of our apparel has a scripture on the back that goes with the design. It's our cool way of spreading the gospel and looking fly. We are located in Stonebriar Mall in Frisco and also online at www.driplikejesus.com. So feel free to go online and shop or come check us out in Frisco. And thank you for helping us spread the gospel.
second half action brought to you by East Texas Benefits, local knowledge you can trust. Be sure to head to the Antlet Sports Network tomorrow. Full day of broadcasting. We have our afternoon game between the Steers of Texas College as they have their homecoming festivities as they host the Louisiana Christian Wildcats. And after that, we head to the Hardwood to Gus Hiller Gymnasium as Rice can't get his opening bucket to fall. Game with the rebound. The Steelers will take on Holy Patriot University as Morrow can't get his first shot to go. 7.40 left to go. Both teams starting off their opening possessions with empty possessions. It's back-to-back -back empty possessions now. Caldwell comes up with the rebound. Can't get it to fall as Rice tries to strip the possession away from Gaten, but Gaten stays with it. 7.25 and counting left to go. Here's Corinth on the drive. He's got it for two. ACPA striking first in the second half. Lead pass out to Jones. Jones gains control, gets it out to Ross. Ross drives. Gammon gets nailed with a drive. He seems to be down as the shot goes in. See if they'll even count that shot as Gammon fell. Check that, not Gammon. That was Charlie Gaten fell well before the shot. 7.05 left. Shot will not count. Score will remain 40 to 37. Check that. They will put the bucket on the board. Now 42 23 with 7.05 left to go in the third quarter of play. Officials checking over on Gaten. Gaten took a nasty fall there on the Rouse Drive as they'll try to get a sub for him. And he slowly limbers off the floor. Looks like he might have bitten his lip. Kit seems to be okay. It's a substitution. The Storm inbound on their own basket. Here's Gammon. Flipping sides of the floor here. Almost caught Winona off guard. Here's Gammon. Drives left. Spins. Goes up. Pass sent away by Caldwell. Possession will go to the Wildcats. Gammon not happy about that last one. Looks like he might have wanted a foul caught there, but officials keeping... Keeping their whistle. Inbound now to Ross. Ross swings it over to Hampton. Hampton to Rice. Rice back up to the top of the key to Ross. Rice. At three. At 11 points for Rice in the first half of play. That's when Elder gets back on the board of 43. Excuse me, 44 to 23. Here's Sowers now. Sowers immediately met by resistance down low from Jones. Fades away. An official on the backside has the call. Looks like it's going to be an offensive foul called against Sowers. A little too physical down there with Jesse Jones immediately there on defense as the Wildcats will come back. His second personal foul, first team foul. Here comes Rice. He had 11 points as Gannon looks like he took the charge and he's got it. Gammon taking the charge there. Officials on the backside giving him the call. That's our first charge of the night for both the girls' game and the boys' game. It's always good to see a charge in high school basketball. Putting your body on the line for the team. 618 and counting left to go. Here comes Gammon driving left. Immediately met by a trap from Caldwell and Ross. Looking for Morrow. Morrow jumps. He gets the ball stripped away, and it's over to Hampton. Hampton rises. Gammon tries to block it. He comes out with the bucket for two. Great job there by Hampton to go through contact to get the follow-away shot. Hampton at 14 in the first half, already looking to be poised to continue his offensive, his great offensive game that he's had so far. Speaking of great offensive game, here comes Rice on the steal. Rice in the middle of the floor, drives, goes up on front, goes up on Gammon, can't get it to go. Gets his own rebound with 540 left. Here's Jones, power dribbles, drives, gets it out to Caldwell, skips through, head fakes, can't get it to go. Morrow and Jones, ball tipped the basketball, backs out officials pointing towards Winona. And substitution being made yet again, checking back in, will be Gaten games. Gaten seems to be okay. Also something in will be William Liang. Taking a seat will be Morrow. We Morrow and Runt. We had Runt listed as number two on our roster. He's wearing number three this evening. As Rice gets the shooter's roll, the lucky bounce. Into the bucket for two more. 48 to 23, your score. The Wildcats slowly starting to pull away more than they were in the first half now. 523 and counting. Pass a wide open, Corinth on the far side is stolen away by Jones. Jones starts to break away. It's a four on two break. It gets tipped away. Fantastic hands by Gaten. And it's 515 left to go. Possession will stay with Winona. 
It's best shot sipped away by Gammon. Rebound corralled by the Wildcats, however. Trying to keep possession was Hampton. And it gets out of bounds. The possession will go to ACPA as Brenton checks in for Corinth. 5.08 left to go, 48-23 to score. And to Gammon now. Gammon drives. Gammon gets it out to Gaithen. Gaithen goes up. Pass was great skip pass intended for Branton. Branton just not prepared for it as we cross the five-minute mark. Score remains 48-23. to 23. Here's Hampton. Hampton drives. Gets it out to Jones. His first three of the game. Rattles in and out. No good. Rebound Hampton. He's got it in for two off the backside rebound. Half century mark now reached for the Winona Wildcats on the road. 440 left to go. Morrow looking to check in. Trapped by jump by Ross and Caldwell. Gets broken down by Gaithen, but it gets tipped away. Jump ball will be called. Possession error will go to ACPA. Checking into the ball game will be to Tavian Williams as Caldwell will check out. Also taking a seat will be Benjamin Sowers. As Lieg checks back in for ACPA. Another corner, open through for Gaithen. Just short, rebounded by Jones. Jones has a man down floor, but Morrow gets the pass tipped away. Finds a man, tries to go for the lap. He can't get it to fall. Lieg can't get that layup. Easy layup, point blank range. Couldn't get it. Gannon goes up, almost for a cornerback as tips the pass out of bounds. We're on a will take possession, but great job by Gannon to possibly save a fast break bucket with 418 left to go, 50 to 23. Jones with it. At the top of the key. Swings it back over to Ross. Ross drives. He's got the floater to go. Tough running shot by Ross. Gets it to go for two. It's 52 to 23. It's with the four-minute mark. Here's Gannon. Driving left. Only Jones to beat. Goes through. Skips through. And gets the left to fall. Here's Ross. Ross up to Rice. Lead pass. Ross can't get it. Just short. He comes with his own rebound out to Jones. Jones hesitates, slides through, shimmies through the lane, he's got it to go. Easy 15-footer. Fifty-four twenty-five 54 25 now. Corinth looking to check back in. Gannon gets the screen for Morrow. Half spins, goes the other direction now, gets it out to mark the free throw line. Morrow, tough follow away shot, can't get it to go. Jones with a tough rebound. It's a lead pass out to Ross. Ross has William in front of him. He drives himself. Gannon takes a bump. This was look like they might call it a blocking foul, and that's what it will be. As Gannon will take his first break of the ball game, checking in for him will be Corinth. Also checking in for Winona's number 20, Jordan Pullum, as Jesse Jones will take a break on the sideline. First personal foul on Gannon, 15 foul for the Storm, as the officials will talk it over now. Nicholas Runt looks to check back into the ball game. Stephen Young gets a quick talking to from his head coach. He sits back down as the first free throw is no good. And Runt will check back into the ball game. Starting point guard for the Storm. Taking a seat will be William Liang. Second shot, back iron no good. Runt tries to come down with it. He does. He spins out of it, gets out of harm's way, but it's stolen away by Williams. Up to Ross. Ross can't get the layup to go. Rebound, Corinth. And here's Run. Lead pass. Ross tips. Check that. Not Ross. Rice tips it away. As checking back in will be Stephen Young. 3.09 left to go in the third quarter. Here's Run. Runt drives. Spins. Looking to get it back out, and he does. Sidestep, 19-foot jumper, can't get it to fall. Rebound almost brought down by Ross, and ACPA will maintain possession again. Here's Corinth on the inbound. Gets it out to Gaithen. Gaithen up and under, tough layup. Gets the bounce, but can't get it to fall. Rebound, Corinth again, and he's got a tough baby hook shot. Corinth puts the storm back on the board. 
Here's Ross. Ross gets the feed into Young. Gets swatted away. And is rebounded by Morrow. And he's going to draw the foul. That foul is going to be on Stephen Young. Number 24 for the Wildcats. Here comes the storm after the foul from Young. Corinth gets it out to Runt. Runt tries to get the ball into Brenton, but can't get it to go. Here comes Ross on the other side now. Ross drives. Great head fake. Euro step finishing for two. On the drive is Rice through contact. Falls. Gets the bucket to go anyway. And it's 58 27. Wide open on the other side of the floor is Corinth. Corinth goes up, and he responds with a deuce of his own. 58-29 now. Coming back the floor, coming back down the floor are the Wildcats. Here's Ross. Ross, laser pass into Hampton. Short. Hampton gets his own rebound, kicks it back out to Ross. Ross at the free throw line. Takes the runner. Can't get it. Back iron no good. Gets his own rebound. Kisses the glass for two. 60-29. 2.06 left to go. Here's Runt. Runt drives. Looking, can't get the pass off, intended for Ross. Excuse me, intended for Rice. Wide open, going up for the layup is Hampton, and he gets it to go. It's getting the lead even more, 62-29, to 29, minute 48 left. Here's Runt now. Runt driving. Gets it in to Gaffin. Gaffin goes up, and he'll head to the line for two. That foul is going to be on Rice from the Wildcats. Hanging the line for a second trip, lead number 21, Charlie Gaffin. Gaffin's first shot, back iron no good. Substitutions for both teams now. Coming in for the Stormby, number 13, Benjamin Sowers. And checking back in for the Wildcats is Caldwell, Bryce Caldwell, number three. 139 left to go in this third period of play. Second shot. Rattles in and out. No good. Rebound Rice. Morrow almost comes up with a steal. And here comes Ross down the floor. Ross goes up. Can't get it to go. Green rebound by Rump. Pass. Excuse me. Shot. Rebound. Put down by Pullum. And the Storm come back down the other way with a minute 25 and counting. Here's Gaffin. Gaffin. Euro tries to collect it. Gets it tipped out mid-flight. Can't get it to go. Great lead pass up to Caldwell. Caldwell takes one step, goes up, and he's got it for two. Here's Corinth. Corinth gets it out to Murray. It's stolen by Caldwell. Caldwell breakaway layup is good. Fifty seconds of counting. 66-29 now. Here's Morrow. Morrow drives right. Gets it into Sowers. Sowers goes up. Can't get it. Stephen Young with the rebound. Out to Caldwell yet again. It's a three-on-five break. And it's going to be a reach-in foul call on the backside against Charlie Gaffin. Sixteen foul against ACPA. First against Gaffin. The Wildcats come down with it. Rise with a tough rebound. Coming back across with it is Stephen Young. Young back out to pull in. Pull in takes a couple of extra steps, and that'll be a travel. The score 66-29. ACPA down here at home on homecoming night. With 25 seconds left to go in the fourth. Here's Morrow. Morrow cross at the timeline. Middle and met by Caldwell. Takes the screen from Gaffin. Takes another screen from Gaffin. Skip pass to Run. Run way downtown. Three just short. Rebounded Young. Stolen away by Morrow. Morrow puts his head down. Goes up. It's going to be an offensive foul called against Morrow. Morrow put his head down almost like a running back in an attempt to get that layup. Three seconds now, up to Rice. Last shot, no good, and the horn sounds. 
And that is the fourth. Your score is 66-29. Back after this break on the ASN. To make winning decisions, you need a championship team in your corner. Monument Realty, led by Anthony Hyder, is that championship team. With countless houses sold in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, you're sure to score the right abode for you and your family. If finding the perfect home is in your future's game plan, then Monument Realty and Anthony Hyder are your perfect play call to get the job done. Monument Realty in Frisco, Texas, the official realtor company of the Dallas Cowboys, the Texas Rangers, and the Antler Sports Network. A car is one of the most important purchases you'll ever make. It's how you drive to work, how you take the kids to school, and how you get to some of life's biggest moments. Why not treat your car as such? Visit Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler on 321 South Bonner Avenue. Joe Thompson and his team of professionals bring decades of another hood experience to ensure that your car runs at its best. Any make, any model, Thompson Tire and Services is the only place to get the best service for your car in the entire East Texas area. Thompson Tire and Services in Tyler, proud sponsor of the Antler Sports Network. Fourth quarter now. 66-29, the Winona Wildcats ahead of Athens Christian Prep here at home at the Kane Center in Athens, Texas. This presentation of high school basketball presented to you by Scouting Report. Scouting Report, the official scouting platform, recruiting platform. The Atlas Sports Network, fresh eight minutes on the clock now, and here we go yet again. Here's Caldwell. Caldwell fakes, passes tip to run. Here's Rice, corner three, heavily contested, can't get it to fall. Rebound brought down by Young Young, gets the corresponding shot to follow through. 68-29 now. Here's Gammon. Gammon pulls it for Merchantson. Can't get it to fall. Rebound brought down by Rice. And it's a three-on-two break now. Morrow trails on the defensive end. Gammon tries to go for the block. Shot hits the top of the backboard. Rebounded by Caldwell. Caldwell defended by three-storm defensive. Falls right on the edge of the basket there. He gets up. Seems to be okay. Possession arrow giving the Storm the possession. With 7.26 left to go. And here comes Morrow. Here's Morrow, driving to his right, goes up through contact, can't get it, ties the ball right back up, however, and it'll be Winona possession. Might to start counting, jump ball, same way we had to for the previous game of the second half, Might to call him off for the fourth quarter, that's two already, and we're just at 7-14 in the fourth quarter. Here's Corinth now, it's tipped away, possession gained back by the Wildcats, here comes Rice. Rice drives, gets it out to Ross. Rice to Ross, the connection is in for two. 70 points, hit now by the Winona Wildcats with seven minutes left to go. 70 to 29, your score. Here comes Morrow. Morrow drives left. And taking himself, ball gets tipped. He almost gets tipped out of bounds by Hampton, but saves it. Here's Morrow. Morrow hesitates, pulls up, and might have been tipped there by Rice. With 640 and counting left to go. Heave of a pass up by Caldwell. Just a little too much mustard on it intended there for Hampton on the far side. And ACP able to take possession back. Have our first wet spot of not just this ball game, but of all evening here at the Kane Center in Athens, Texas. I want to thank the Kane Center and Athens Christian Preparatory Academy for allowing the Antler Sports Network to broadcast their athletic events, not just this year, but the previous year and the rest of the near future. 6.35 and counting now. Here comes Mora. Here's Mora. Mora stuck in the corner, guarded by Jones. Storm slowing it down a bit. 6-14 left to go in this contest. Wide open corner three. No good. Side iron and can't get it to go. Here comes Jones on the breakaway. He's got Young with him. Gets it to him. Goes up for two and he's got it. Jones and Young pretty much communicating the entire length of the floor. Just waiting for the perfect time to get that skip pass off, and that's exactly what they did as Gammon goes up, up, and under. Flashy layup, no good. Rebound taken back by the Storm. Runt saves it. Corner three, open for Gaten. Check that, a corner two, open for Gaten, no good. And here comes Gammon. Gammon, head fakes, drives right. Goes in through contact, and it's going to be a blocking foul. Capped the bucket for two as Gammon will head it back to the line after getting trying to get three the easy way with 536 left to go. 
That foul is going to be on Winona's number 13, Josh Rice. It's almost a platoon swap in for the Wildcats. Checking back in will be number four, Detavian Williams. Back to the line will be number, check that, back to the line for the Storm will be number 15, Landry Gammon. Gammon gets the rebound from the official after Winona makes their substitutions. Gammon shot, just can't get it to go. And it's 72 to 31 now, 5.30 left to go. Here's Caldwell. Caldwell goes up for two, can't get the layup to go. It's rebound brought down by Pinnell, and it's into the window and in for two. Five seventeen left. Here comes Morrow. Morrow finds Runt wide open, and it gets sent away by Stephen Young. The Storm will maintain possession. Score still seventy-two to thirty-one after the block. Going back up is Gammon through contact. Can't get the lucky bounce. With five minutes left to go. The drive ball continuing for the ACPA Storm as we hit the five-minute mark. Here's Rice on the drive. One too many steps. It'll be a turnover for the Wildcats. 4.57 left to go. Possession ACPA. On the drive is Gammon. Gammon, tough follow away shot. Sent away yet again by Young. Young's had a clinic. Sending the ball away. And he sends yet another one. That's his third straight block. And around two minutes of game time, Gannon with the steal, bounce pass. Fantastic bounce pass intended for Gaten. Gaten gets out of the corner, drives right, goes up, almost blocked by Rice, and he gets it to go for two through contact. Hierarchy pass into Young again. Young into Pullum. Pullum, turnaround jumpers, good. Four ten now left to go in this ball game. Here's Morrow. Morrow has Gammon to his left. He gets it to him. Three from downtown. Can't get it to fall. Rebound corralled by the Wildcats. Pull him. Skip pass up to Caldwell. Stolen away by Gammon. 350 and counting now. Bounce pass. Over to Gaten. Gaten gets his pass intended for him. Stolen away. And here comes Williams. It's an even two-on-two -two break. He's got Rice to his left. Follow away. Euro step jumper. Can't get it to go. Falls down. Here comes Gammon. Gammon, he's got a man out of the middle of the basket. Let's see how he uses him. Fantastic head fake. Expected to have Gaithen cutting, but Gaithen stays in the corner. As Runt does a great job tipping the pass away, but Rice is wide open on the far side. Goes up, and he's got it. 3.25 left to go. Substitution pending for ACPA with 3.20 and counting now. 78-33, your score. Runt tries to get it intended for Coth. Coerth check that. Couldn't get it. Williams with the steal. Gets the pass from Young, and he's got it for two yet again. As we hit 80 to 33 now in a timeout called by Coach Brown of the ACPA Storm. We'll take it with him back after this break on the Atlas Sports Network. First horn sounds as both teams come out of their respective huddles after Coach Brown's last timeout. Timeout brought to you by HDO and Tyler, your hometown drink stop. And by Natural Stone Plant Company, every home needs a plant. Be sure to go online to antlersn.com forward slash news. Check out all the latest Antler Sports Network happenings. Also go to antlersn.com forward slash schedule to find out when our next broadcast will be. 3.07 after the timeout left of this game. 8-33 your score. That's what I'm trying to Crowsome 
Across some positives here as the game winds down in the fourth quarter. Here's Morrow. Morrow directing traffic. Morrow gets it out to Gammon. Gammon takes the three, got it. <laughs> Biggest bright spot so far has been Gammon's ability to score the basketball at will. Might not get every roll he needs, but he's been able to get to the rim and get every bucket he needs. And speaking of getting every bucket he wants, there's Rice on the layup yet again. 82-36 now, 2.37 left to go in the fourth. Here's Morrow. Morrow drives right, goes through four defenders. There's going to be a blocking foul. Going to be multiple perpetrators there, but that foul is going to be called on number 20 for the Wildcats. That's Pullum. First personal foul, first, excuse me, first personal foul, 13 foul. This was making sure it's not one and one. I believe that's their third team foul. This is what the PA announcer had uttered just recently. That's exactly what that, what it is. Check that. No one and one free throws here with 225 left to go. 82 to 36, your score. Here's Gaiman. Game about under his own basket. Looking for a man. He finds Morrow. Morrow sidesteps. Takes a fadeaway three. Can't get it to go. Swarm can't come down with a rebound. Official call will be possession Winona. Substitution now coming back in for the story. Mitchell Korth checking back out will be number 23, William Liang. Here's Rice. Rice drives. Gets it into Young. Moore almost sends it away. Forces Young to travel. Great job by Moore at the time. His jump. If he would have let the ball go, he probably could have gotten a block there, but Young didn't let the ball go. It's 2.15 left to go now. The storm will come back the other way. Moreau gets the inbound. And it's stolen away by Young as we hit two minutes now. And it's out of bounds, just out of bounds. Maybe the end of his heel, maybe the length of a hair follicle of a shoe might have been out of bounds. But the storm will take possession of their own basket with two minutes flat left to go in this ball game. Shot no good. Rebound brought down by Pullen. High arcing pass up to Williams. Williams corrals it. Guarded by Morrow. His shot doesn't go. Rebound brought down by Young. Young into Rice. Rice elbow jumper. Can't get the shooter's roll to come down. Rebound by Young. Young tries to go back over. Then he can't get it. William can't get it. Young got to try again. But Gammon says no, sir. One and a half left to go. He's going to take it himself yet again. Pressed up full court. Immediately met with a trap. He's going to take it himself. Jabs right. Skips through. Goes up. He's going to be tipped out by Caldwell. Play still going here. Coach Brown and Gannon wanting a foul. No call for the official as Rice goes up. And he's got it. Seemed to be, it might have been a frustration foul there by Landry Gammon. Gammon has had a heck of a game himself. Our Thompson Tire Services player of the game will go to the man that's sitting on the free throw line right now for the Winona Wildcats. Number 13, Josh Rice, as Rice misses the free throw. Rebound by Pullen. Pullen goes back up with it. He can't get it to fall either. Morrow tries to hit it off the head of Pullen. He does, but he goes back to the storm, and he gets it back himself with one minute and seven seconds left to go. Lead pass, just out of bounds. Couldn't get his hands on it with 107 left to go. One oh five and counting now. It's over to Young. Young with it gets it over to Rice. Young with it again after the backdoor cut. It's stolen by the storm, and here comes Morrow. It's a three on three break. He has numbers. Morrow drives, goes into Rice, goes up, and he's gonna draw the blocking foul. That's another foul on Rice there. With forty eight seconds, forty eight ticks left to go in this contest. Morrow's first shot rattles in, and he's got it to go. It's 
84 to 37. That's a, a score of tables. Trying to decide who the foul was on as Rice subs out. It is indeed Rice's fifth personal foul, 14 foul of this half. There's Mora back in the line, looking to go have the first perfect trip to the line all day long for all four of our respective teams. And he gets it to go, 38-84, 45 seconds of counting left. And the Wildcats still playing here. Williams goes up for the layup, can't get it to go. Morrow tries to send it away. He indeed does. Rebound brought down by the Storm. And it's 35 seconds left now. Here comes ACPA. Driving now, gets it out tomorrow. Morrow drives left, switches back. Open three, top of the key, just short. Ball goes out of bounds with 20 seconds of counting left to go. And I would assume that Winona would probably hold this for the last possession as the clock rolls now with 18 seconds. It's called well with it on the far side wing. And that seems like that's exactly what will happen. I'm trying to hold this to end this ball game out. 10 seconds now out to Caldwell. Caldwell, five seconds left. Get it to Pullian. Pullian almost loses the basketball. Three seconds, two seconds, and one, and the ball game is over. Winona takes down ACPA on the road here at the Kane Center. Your final score, 84 to 38. This has been a presentation of Texas High School Basketball on the Antler Sports Network. This is Jared Jones, and until tomorrow afternoon, so long, everybody.